Hey guys, it's Marie Antoinette with Posh Paper Perfection and welcome to my channel. Hey guys! Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I am an hour late. <laughs> A lot of technical difficulties and all kinds of other difficulties. Oh my gosh, like, hello, my glue, I could not open it. <laughs> Literally, I could not open it, and um, so our hot water, our hot water heater is busted. So every time we have to use hot water, we have to light the hot water furnace. And Jeff is at work. Um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> on my glue to get it unstuck <laughs> and it was just not budging my hands my fingers are all red just from trying and trying and trying <laughs> to open it up but anyway i apologize um i hope you guys are having a great evening i'm really excited to be sharing with you this video because um i don't think that i have ever um done a uh a video a tutorial of susan's um gar garden dies and to tell you how much i love susan tierney cockburn's flower dies if you don't know who that is she is the designer of these dies and i am a die hard fanatic like this is just one of several boxes that I have that have her dies in them okay and um, if you watch the video uh, of my unhaul uh, oh of my haul and you saw her name is spelt wrong I apologize I don't know why I miss I missed the C uh, K and um, her last name but anyway um, I was very excited when I found out that Susan had moved on to Spellbinders because I love Spellbinders dies. They are just high quality. And so I, you know, I've been putting it off for a long time about getting um, another flower die because I'm like, I already have a flower die. And uh, <laughs> I'm so glad I did. I really am. Um, and the, one of the reasons why I love and I, and I'm so glad I did is because I discovered there is a difference, um, in her flower dies. Okay. And so, um, let me do this here. It's kind of in my way here. Okay. There is a difference, um, in her flower dies. If you have gotten flower dies of hers in the past. Okay. One of, um, my most used flower dies is the uh, forget-me-nots I love the forget-me-nots okay and I have made so many that this is what I usually do I keep it in a pouch um, that has a magnet and then I have all these jewelry baggies and I just mass produce the um, the die cuts and then put them in here um, that way, when I get ready to, you know, make some flowers, I don't have to search for the dyes. And, well, I 
of course I'm going to get have the die because the die is right here. But um, most of these, you know, I can just color them and then assemble them and, and that's it and make flowers on the dot on the fly. So that's one of my tips. Um, if you guys don't do this, uh, I know some people keep their, um, their actual die cuts separate than their dies, but since they're flat anyway, um, it's great. Okay. So, um, so anyway, um, this is just an example of the difference between um, her former uh, dies, okay? So you can see in her former dies, it, this one's a, not a very good example because all the flowers are connected on here, okay? But in past ones, all of those pieces have been, you know, um, just single dies, okay? And when you had to cut it out on die piece paper, I mean, you're like trying to keep track of, you know, five, six, 11 dies at a time. Um, and it can get very confusing when you have so many sets of flat, so many sets of flower dies that, um, you can accidentally interchange them. Yeah. And thus another tip, I always keep the cover and um, so I can have an illustration. And even if it doesn't fit in my four by six pouch, I go ahead and uh, cut out the die, um, uh, wh whatever the illustration that shows how many dies are in there. Um, so that's what I did for that in the past, okay? For the Spellbinders, okay, the difference of this is, look at this. It is only three pieces, okay? Three dies, and the three dies have the stem, the three leaves, and the nine petals. Wonderful, because that is less, that, that's the less amount of dies that I have to keep track of. So I'm super, super excited. Also, I'm really excited about this embossing on this leaf this embossing on the leaf is different. So if you notice on um, this one, the Elizabeth Craft Design, and you can't get them on Elizabeth Craft Design anymore, okay? They are retired. Um, on Elizabeth Craft Design, they were just open dies, and then you had to use a, um, I got my nifty tools over here. You had to use a leaf um, uh, tool Okay, this is called the leaf tool. Okay, and it's just like a, um, it's a sharp, it's not a knife. It, it, it's hard to describe what it does, but you had to use that and actually physically create the lines. So now you have um, the die already ready to emboss. Okay, and we'll have to do that additional step, which saves you so much time. Now I probably will end up, um, still using my leaf tool, um, uh, at some point, but yeah. So that is uh, the difference, um, between, um, if you had purchased her, uh, dies through Elizabeth craft design and now what to expect when you get them, um, at Spellbinders, okay? And the detail on these flowers are so amazing. Now, you guys have seen this before, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here and see if I can zoom in. Um, yep, yeah. okay. So you can see the detail on this and then every single little um, petal here is a separate piece of paper, okay? But believe it or not, this is all white cardstock and we are going to make this entirely out of white cardstock as well, okay? So with that said, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit more because I got a glare on here. Um, so there are a couple of things that we need. We need one, scissors, okay? to cut our scrap 
white piece of paper. Okay. Um, let me zoom out. Again. <laughs> zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. So, uh, hello. There we go. All right. You guys see my cleaner? Totally awesome. Who loves totally awesome? Do you know where to find it? If you know where to find it, mention on the comment section. Okay. So we need paper, All right? We'll need some sort of tweezers. Um, uh, this is for the leaves, the white, we're going to keep with the white cardstock. We're not going to worry about coloring it. Okay. And then, um, in addition to that, we need this glue. This glue is the glue beyond, uh, the, the mother of glues when it comes to flower making. Okay. If you try to make it with any other glue, I guarantee you, you're going to get frustrated. And this I want to say is Susan's very big secret. <laughs> uh, those, those, um, I'm trying to see if I have an example and you know what? I probably don't have an example, um, of it, but this glue is what keeps this little tiny piece on there. Okay. That is a piece of paper. All right. So, um, kids choice glue, and I'll have the link of, uh, for that. Um, after the video is over, I'll be posting all the links to all my tools. Um, the only tools that you cannot get, unfortunately, are Susan's garden tools, which are these right here. Okay. You'll see me using them. If you want to create her flower dies, you need to go to Spellbinders. And again, I will throw down the link after this video and they have a tool that, um, she, she has a tall tool set of everything that you need. Um, it's, it's kind of like this, except for it has a ball stylus like this. Okay. And it also includes this, the other secret ingredient, this foam mat. Okay. Now, if you're saying to yourself, well, wait a minute, Marie, ah, that sounds like a lot of things to, you know, do the flowers. Okay. So... I'm going to say, I want to say this, if you are going to get her flower dies, go ahead and invest in her tools. Once you invest in her tools, guess what guys, you don't have to do it again. Okay. You have everything that you absolutely need. Now, if you happen to have this and it's getting kind of, um, you know, not as firm, you can use foam that's really, really, really thick. And like, um, don't throw away your packages. You know, if your packages come with foam, if you get um, ink cartridges and they have foam in them, keep them, okay? Save them because you can shape your flowers with them and it is um, cost effective. Okay, so with that, oh, um, a couple more things that we need. <laughs> we'll need toothpicks. Okay. And you'll see why. Um, and then this is a secret. Uh, this is another thing where you don't need it now, but if you really want your flowers to look real, um, you want to, uh, get some pan pastels. I'll throw down the link for this. Susan actually has a pan pastel set that's available on Amazon and it has all of the colors that you would need for flower making. Okay. And actually I want to thank Susan, um, because, because of her using these pan pastels, she actually made me a pan pastel fan and I end up getting all kinds of pan pastels, um, to make my backgrounds. Absolutely love them. They are super fun. If you don't know what a pan pastel is, it's basically a um, oil pastel in a pan. It is pressed in, okay? 
It is super buttery. You could use um, chalk pastels, but they are hard to manipulate. This is easy to manipulate because it's kind of, it gives a kind of texture like eyeshadow. Which, you know, I've never used eyeshadow. I wonder if that would ever work. Okay, so let me get a drink. Um, if you hear me coughing in this video, I apologize. Um, so a lot of people don't know that uh, in the beginning of 2021, I came down with COVID and, um, uh, and I have had lingering effects ever since. Um, such as, um, my, my smell and my taste did come back, but then, uh, four months later, I end up, uh, losing my smell. Um, and, uh, my smell started to get confused. Uh, it, it thought that it was smelling other things such as, this is going to sound really bizarre guys, but, um, the the three months after I had um I had finished having COVID, I literally felt like I was in a bar. I smelt smoke, cigarette smoke, all around me, and I was just like, "What the heck is going on?" Next thing you know, eggs started tasting like plastic. Um, uh, I couldn't enjoy protein anymore. It t it tasted so gross. Um. And the only thing I could enjoy was fruits, believe it or not. So, so anyway, um, I have had some days where my uh, symptoms have gone away and I've come almost close to being smelling um, again. But unfortunately, it, ha it has been like almost two months since that has happened um, to me. And unfortunately this week I end up having those symptoms again. So if you hear me um, cough, it is because my my nose thinks I'm in a bar again. And <laughs> it's not fun because it's not a fun bar where you can get a drink. I mean, I'm sure I can get a drink, but <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just, uh, it, it, it's such a pain in the butt. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use this, um, this scrap piece of paper, okay? This is big enough here, and I'm going to manipulate it here. I'm just going to cut out. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out two of these, okay? Two of these, two of the stems. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, that illustration on the front shows three stems. So we're going to cut out six stems. Okay. And then we're also going to, um, uh, cut out, uh, we'll do this. So basically what I'm doing is I'm layering this. We're going to cut it right on top of each other. See if we can save some space here. Uh, we'll save that for another of that. We may need more paper. Okay. And I think we may need three of these. So... And I apologize for not having these cut out in advance for you guys. Um, yeah, it's just been one of those days, honestly. Okay. And will this fit? Ah, it'll be just barely. And we need more paper. Wrap it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So this is what I do with my scrap pieces of paper. I save them and then I just end up um, cutting the scraps to fit the dies, okay? So because these are not perfectly the same, we will have to die cut over and over again. Okay. I think I think we're good okay so I have my mini Empress here I'm gonna turn it on and we are going to use oh let's see if you notice that I have this shim underneath there okay so let me tell you something I love my Empress but you know, when I started cutting on it, I was actually surprised. It did not have as much pressure as my big one. So I have manipulated it. Um, so it has mo a little bit more pressure. I do realize that that means that my magnets, um, my, my netted mat is like going to spread um, quicker. But um, that's okay. <laughs> That is okay. All right, so let's go ahead and this is pretty thick paper. So let's do that. I'm going to put this down because whew, it's like been one of those days, guys. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't think it's going to be cutting over. All right, and then this, let's spread this a little bit over here. Mm -hmm. So just think when you already have these cut, how much easier this is gonna be. Okay, and then we'll put this in here and run it. Reverse it. Right. right. So those are the flowers. Okay. Which I'm actually surprised they have little holes in them. Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to have holes. Uh, maybe someone can tell me why they have holes in them. All right. And we'll do another one. Then. Yeah, I think that's for something else. Okay. There we go. That. Oh, yes, this is nice. I love that it's embossed. Okay. Those. Put that over there. And face down, just like that. All right, so we need this because this is not cutting out. Okay, not sure what happened to that, oh, but we'll fussy cut that. So that cuts out. And that scrap piece of paper is not going to be good. Okay, let's try this one. Mm -hmm. Let's 
Let's try this way. Hmm. There we go. A little bit of geometry. Okay. In here. Just like this. I think that's what happened. I didn't uh, run it all the way through. This one is just fine. Um, because they're so delicate, um, you may want to just like um, snip it in places to be able to get it uh, to come out. Okay. Because the last thing you want to do is damage your paper. Okay, and these things can be very, 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 very delicate. Okay, and we'll take this. All right, put that over to the side. And we have plenty of flowers now. So we'll just leave those flowers over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. And we're not going to cut any more at this out. So let's put the, these dies over to the side. The ones that I don't need anymore. This though. I'll put this up to this corner here. Just like that. I'm going to cut a couple more of these. So in a perfect world, I would go ahead and cut out um, at least six of them. Just to make it more realistic. Okay. And if I'm doing anything like not in the frame, just please let me know. I apologize. Don't really look at this video when I'm doing this. I'm constantly just, you know. Now you see what happened when I pulled that? That this almost broke off? Yeah. So use your, sc use your scissors. Speaking of scissors, anybody watched my last video and saw the open pair of scissors just laying there and right next to my uh, arm? I was like looking at that going, oh my God, Marie, put away the damn scissors. <laughs> You're going to cut yourself. I know somebody else had to have been thinking the same thing. But I was recording and all I had um, in my... Uh, on my head was get the damn video done <laughs> so i had a big pair of scissors just like wide open right here on the side yeah i noticed that too okay so let's do this here and i promise i'm gonna get close up right after i do this okay all right and uh, just be very careful when you're um, cutting these. All right. This is the perfect way of getting these out without damaging your, um, your die cut. Okay. Trust me. They're just so delicate. Ah! Come on. There you go. All right. And one more. <laughs> one more and I, swear, I promise we can get down to business okay all right I think next time I will uh, do all this die cutting off camera so you guys don't have to 
uh, do that. Unless you are, um, you know, unless you like that and you're actually creating with me. I know a lot of people like to do that. Um, you guys tell me, do you like videos where everything is pre-cut? Or do you like the videos where um, the, uh, the creator of the video is actually creating um, in real time? Not a sped up version, um, not a voiceover, but actually creating and you can create with them. I kind of like both. Okay, so now... We're going to put away our three dies over here, okay? And I don't think we'll need the scissors anymore. Oh, I lied because we got a fussy cut. <laughs> we got a fussy cut because this did not cut out. So let me see if I can get that really quickly. Uh-huh. And you know what? I can already tell you what this piece is going to be. <laughs> this piece is going to be my back piece. Yep. It did not make the cut. Nope. Uh, and that was no pun. <laughs> okay. So let me do that. I think it's, mm -hmm. there we go. All right. It did not make the cut. So let's look at this illustration again. Okay. And just look at this. So the um, stems are a lightish green. Okay. And, uh, and these are actually going to go in here. Okay. How are we going to do that? I'm not sure. <laughs> I did not watch Susan's uh, tutorial. And now I'm going, hmm, it's, uh, you know, I was going, okay, you know, Marie, own hundreds of her dies. How hard can it be? You don't have to watch a tutorial. Let me tell you, every time I watch her um, uh, tutorials, I learn something new. So if you don't subscribe to uh, Susan's YouTube channel, if you do not belong to her uh, Facebook, um, Susan Gardens, um, I think it's called Susan's Garden Club uh, Facebook group, or follow her on, um, on Facebook and Instagram, uh, yeah do so. You're going to learn so much from her. Let me tell you, it is so worth it spending, you know, a, an hour or so with her. She is a fountain of knowledge and, you know, I just love her. I hope like one day I get to meet her because that would be just, you know, my highlight of, of my life. I know that sounds really corny and stuff like that, but you know, Susan actually helped me out during some really hard times when I was um, going through my separation uh, with my ex-husband. Um, and uh, there was nothing that I could do. You know, um, I felt hopeless, uh, you know, the, the first year that I was, uh, you know, playing with her dyes, I felt hopeless. In, in my life. I mean, honestly. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a terrible thing to watch somebody who, um, suffers, uh, with alcoholism <clears throat> and just does not want to help themselves. Um, you know, cause like I said, you know, I say this to everybody, uh, he's a great person, you know, he's a great father. But, you know, he just couldn't help himself. And, uh, it, you know, it makes me sad. It really does. You know, because a part of me still loves him. And, you know, Jeff knows that. Jeff's okay with that. He, he knows that he, you know, was a, a huge part of my life. Um, he, he's the father of my three children, you know. 
So, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things where I had to, I had to find some joy. And so Susan's dies, that's what they did. They brought me joy. They helped me create things. Um, here's another funny fact about me. I cannot have a living plant in my house. <laughs> Seriously, I cannot have a living plant in my house. Oh, I'm so sorry. I promised to, you know, uh, make everything close and I didn't. Let me get a little bit closer. There you go. Now you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I cannot, um, I cannot have a living plant in my house. Otherwise it does scream murder. <laughs> I cannot forget, uh, one of my, um, uh, supervisors for my birthday, he gave me a beautiful azalea and I looked at it and I said, you do realize this is going to be dead within the end of the week. And he said, you know, it's an azalea. You, you can just plant it outside. I'm like, I don't plant outside. He did not understand that poor azalea. It lasted for a month and it, then it died. <laughs> Honestly. Now, I am a perfectionist, and as you can see, I like to color um, my uh, die cuts front and back, okay? And you don't have to be a fantastic colorist, okay? In fact, you don't really have to know how to color at all. Just make sure the white is kind of gone, okay? Honestly, that's what we're doing, okay? Uh, and I'm going to make sure I get those tips in here. Okay. This is like so neat. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I almost forgot. You do need a craft mat, um, to protect your surface. Um, but also this is the secret, um, uh, for me to create my flowers without having to put them on a card base. So a lot of times you'll see Susan in her videos um, where she has the card base and then she attaches them um, on the card base uh, and then builds it around the card. I am envious of her <laughs> that she can do that and other people that can do that. I can't do that. I am uh, I'm not that great at spatial, um, recognition. So, and, and also I am, mm, uh, what do you call it when you can't make a decision? <laughs> indecisive. <laughs> I'm very indecisive when it comes to my projects. You will see me put together a project and then all of a sudden I will take it apart. Okay. Yeah, it's true. I'll take it apart. So, you know, I like to make my flowers first um, and then attach them um, to the cards afterwards. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes I'm like, why did I do this? Because especially if it's layering, yeah. Um, another trick and you won't see it. I don't think, I don't think you'll see it in this. Or maybe you will. Um, but I don't attach leaves until the very end. Unless I'm trying to fill up space. But most likely I won't attach leaves. Uh, there's a lot of people that um, say um, when we get to the shaving part to go ahead and spritz your paper uh, with water. I Okay, so I have um, some thoughts on that. Not saying that it's wrong, but I will say for my experience, I don't like doing that. One, the alcohol ink um, in this Copic marker, and this is Copic marker is YG25, okay? So this um, ink is already breaking down the paper, all right? 
I don't, I don't need it to be broken down anymore. Honestly. Okay. All right. So that looks good. We got three. Four, five. I thought we did six. Didn't we do six? Did we drop one? <laughs> Story of my life. What the fudge? I think I have to cut out another one. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm just looking at that piece of paper. Mm, I got all excited about coloring. All right, so we'll cut out one more after we color these two. Yep. Oh, somebody is here. Hi, Dunya. How are you? It's so good to see you. No, you are not late at all. Uh, in fact, what ended up happening was I was an hour late. So I started at nine o'clock and um, I really didn't get started until about 15 minutes ago. So I will be here for uh, at least for another hour, I think. Uh, well, maybe it won't be that long, but you have come just right on time yeah so do you own any of um susan's uh, garden dyes have you heard of uh, susan's garden dyes a lot of people haven't heard of them you did check it eight yeah i had a bunch of technical difficulties <coughs> so um one of the uh, biggest technical difficulties that I had was I couldn't get my glue open. <laughs> this glue, um, if you do not, oh, please tell me that it didn't. Uh, yeah. Um, this glue is so thick that um, uh, you have to use hot water to um, un, you know, unglue it. And my hot water heater is broken. Uh, Jeff is at work and I don't know how to light the pilot for the hot water heater. So I actually uh, was spending like 30 minutes trying to open up my glue because I couldn't, I knew I couldn't uh, do these flowers without it. Yes, you have heard of Susan, um, Tier Su Susan Tierney Cockburn or Cockburn, sorry. Oh, goodness. Um, so, uh, Dunya, uh, in case you hear me cough, I am not sick. Uh, I was explaining to everyone that um, uh, earlier in the video um, that um, early in uh, the year, uh, I uh, had contracted COVID and um, ever since I've had uh, COVID, um, COVID symptoms that have been lingering. So one of the symptoms that I had was um, uh, I got my taste and my smell back, but um, my smell, the wiring, um, I, I guess I have gotten some nerve damage. And so now um, my nose, it, smells things that are not there. <laughs> um, so today, uh, I smell cigarette smoke and, um, I don't smoke. Jeff doesn't smoke. Um, yeah. And so it's, it, I feel like I'm in a, um, in a bar and unfortunately it's not the good kind of bar. <laughs> Because where is my wine? I'm going to have to get my wine. All right. <laughs> yeah. 
So, so anyway, if you hear me coughing and sound like I'm choking, it's because I actually feel like somebody is like breathing, um, cigarette smoke in my nose. It's the weirdest thing. Um, I, I still can't eat eggs anymore. Um, eggs taste like plastic. Oh, this is funny. Poop actually smells like flowers. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, and then, um, the flowers do not smell like poop, but, um, uh, what, what was it that smelled like cat pee? I want to, oh man, I can't remember. You know, everyone at work, they, they laugh cause they go, oh, gosh, that, they feel sorry for me, but it's just one of those things that I'm waiting for my, uh, sense of smell to go back. But I don't know if it'll ever will. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I feel fine. Um, it's just the uh, lingering effects of COVID have, are so different for everybody. And just for me, um, you know, I did not have the full-blown COVID. Like, you had to be... Um, <clears throat> incubated or, or anything like that. Now, um, I got COVID worse than Jeff. Uh, it both hit us really hard, but for me, it took a full month and a half to actually feel like, um, I was a whole person again. There were days where I would be on the couch and it would hurt just to lift my head. Um, while I was laying down, it would hurt it, it. If I walked and got up, it took all of my energy. Uh, COVID is a scary thing. Honestly. Um, it's real. <laughs> it's real. It's scary. And you know, um, yeah, I, I hope everyone is careful out that, uh, careful out there and really takes it seriously. Cause, uh, yeah. You don't want to get it. <laughs> you really don't. So, anyway. All right. So, what I'm doing here, Dunya, is I am coloring um, the back of these um, flower stems. And I like to color the backs. Um, even though I'm going to um, attach two together I still like to color it I just feel like it looks better okay all right so we have that and that's all done so now let's go ahead and attach them okay so here's again where you need the craft mat okay um, this is how I do it I use a part of my craft mat as a little, um, you know, glue, glue template, if you want to call it that. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, um, but, you know, I just use it there because I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to take the back of this and let's make sure this is the good one. This one's the good one. And I'm just going to spread the glue flat on here. I guess you could also use the, the barely, um, glue, but this glue here is very, very tacky and it is perfect for grabbing, um, uh, grabbing the paper and having it not slide around. So that is the reason why I use the um, kids, kids Choice Glue. All right. I mean, it's literally, I feel it like grabbing everywhere. And if it gets on the other side, don't worry about it. It's not going to be... Um, you know, you can still clean it up and everything. All right. So, do right there. All right. 
And then I'm going to turn this around. Then we're going to attach the front and the back. Basically just lay that on top. And kind of slide it around. I have a um, washcloth somewhere around here that, you know, because, you know, after a while your fingers get full of glue and then it's just, it feels like it's a big mess. Right. And. And all I'm doing is kind of pinching them together to put them together. Okay. This one. Oh, hello. There we go. See, and you really can't tell right now that it's two pieces. Now, if you noticed, I didn't put glue on the bottom. And the reason for that is because... Um, I didn't want to get glue all over my hands. So we'll go ahead and take this again. And we'll run that. On top of the bottom die. Just because we can see it. Doesn't matter if you do the top or the bottom. Just as, um, just as long as you're gluing the correct piece. So you can glue the back of this top piece or the front of the bottom piece. And uh, do, 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 do. All right. Just like that. Okay, so we have one done. Only two more to do. Okay, so let's do this one. I might have to try the... Um, the barely glue because I think if I do the barely glue that it will um, be a little bit faster and less messy oh hello you see what it's doing it's like sticking yeah that's because of the glue all right, so let's go ahead and stick this since this is drying very, very quickly. Right, and there, and hold on one second. I have a cloth. Okay, that's my uh cloth. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up my hands because I'm getting a little bit too sticky here. All right. 
now I'm gonna peel this back here and let's go ahead and get some more glue let's use the barely glue I'm just kind of curious about that um hold on one second get up here oh All right, so let's use the sparing glue. This is something that I didn't have before with my other dies, so. I wish I could have some nice soothing music on, but unfortunately YouTube will um, give me all kinds of warnings that I'm copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, don't they know some people just like to listen to music while they're doing videos? Hmm. So I think that one's going to be good. Yeah, definitely it's a lot quicker with the Barely. The Barely um, art glue. But when we get to doing this part, we're going to use... Um, we're going to use this um, uh, uh, Kids Choice glue. Okay. Now, one more we need to do. And so... Let's do that. Okay. So let's now put this on top. And like I said, getting it together, I'm just I'm kind of pinching them uh, and then they line up perfectly. This Barely Art glue has enough wiggle room where I can actually move it exactly where I want it. Okay. And now we'll do this. Right. It's a little interesting doing these uh, flowers on camera because I'm not sure what you guys can see, um, but I have to bring it up a little bit closer for me. And I think I have it at a perfect angle where you guys can see exactly what I'm doing okay so now we have the three stems okay and um, let's see before we do that let's go ahead and color this okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna color this with um, this color right here 
Okay, actually, we're only going to use two of these. Um, this is G99. And I'm going to use the chisel part just to show you how easy it is to do this. Okay, but what you're going to do is you're going to just make lines and color it in just like that. And I like to do the back side. The next one. So, Dunya, uh, what kind of crafty things have you been creating? Now, if you're ever going to do other um, flowers and those fl um, flowers have many different colors that you'll be using, I find using paper plates that um, have a, um, a plastic coating are great for coloring. Ah, oh, yes! Awesome! <sighs> Who are your favorite dyes? Anna's? Is that Anna's uh, are your favorite dyes? Okay. So we are not going to worry about the next step, which is the pan pastels. We're actually going to wait to do that. Okay? All right. So now we have fun part, shaping. Yay! Everyone happy about that? Woohoo! Okay, so what we're gonna do, now I understand what these holes are for. <laughs> we will come over here, uh, make sure that your little holes are out, okay? And remember when I had said not to, well, that I don't like watering my paper. Well, th this is one of the reasons why I don't like watering the paper. When I watered the paper on this, this was full of ink and it got all of my papers, the color of whatever the ink was left over there. So I don't even try to water colors anymore. All right. Um, okay, so because this is cupped, okay, and it faces down. What we're going to do is we're going to put the right side, which is the top side, on the bottom, okay? 
So the back of the flower is facing us, okay? And the right side is, fa is on, facing down. Does that make sense? That's right. They're too pricey. I remember you saying that. All right. So now that they're all face down, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ball stylus, okay, and I am going to cup them, okay? And how I cup them is I press them down just like this, all right? But you notice how that just makes it kind of like, doesn't cup them all the way. I don't know if you can see that, okay? So there's a little trick for that, and it's called the leaf tool. And in this leaf tool, this is what the leaf tool looks like, okay? Um, I believe that um, uh, they do still sell this at uh, Spellbinders. Um, but this is part of Anna, um, Anna's, a part of Susan's um, flower gardening, uh, gardening tools kit. I have not been able to find this tool anywhere. Uh, and if somebody knows exactly what it's called, let me know. But we reference it as the tool, the leaf uh, tool kit. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm pressing the flower down and into the middle and what it's doing is it's cupping it okay I know that's probably hard to see but that's what it's doing okay let me see if I can get just a little bit closer oh yeah you guys have front row seats now okay so I'm pressing this down you see that pressure I'm pressing it down just like that and rolling it to the middle and then I'll do the next side and I'll turn it around and then I'll take the very tip and uh, again press it in and I'm doing this all with the leaf tool. right and see it changes the shape from a cup a cup look to you know from um you know flat look to a cup look a blackhead tool <laughs> what's a blackhead tool i have never heard of a blackhead tool is that like blackhead like a pimple And this little foam is what makes a big difference because if you have a uh, foam pad that doesn't have cushion to it, okay, you will not get this cupping effect. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I hope it's not a blackhead tool. Ooh. Gross. Uh. Okay. Uh. I want to call it a loop tool, but I don't know. See, I, I'm actually not sure where in the world you would find something like this. Or even if, if she designed it herself. All right. Let's do another one. We'll do a few and then we'll attach a few. Okay? How does that sound? Because <laughs> this is a long process. Uh, they're so tiny. For a long time, I wasn't able to do um, Susan's 
flower dies because I had wrist um, issues like right here um, I actually had to get an injection of uh, um, steroid in there uh, it was really pretty bad I think it was from uh, the long drive uh, my body was just revolting but now it's okay okay so now we're going to take our ball stylus okay you see that and now we're gonna press down just like this to cup it some more and kind of go around and around and I'm wondering if this if we take it on here I'm just kind of curious oh yeah that cups it even more that's what I want okay so this is just a piece of foam that came from one of my packages right you see how the foam just makes a big difference Now it's looking like a little tiny egg. <laughs> do do do. And you gotta be careful that you don't pry too much pressure. I'm being uh, a little bit of a brute here with this poor flower. I'm like, you will cup. <laughs> And I might even, you know, get another ball stylus that's smaller than this. Um, yep, I think I'll use this one. Hopefully this one won't be too small. Oh, it's too small. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry for cussing. Can't use that. Don't use that. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> That's why I'm here for your lives. So you can learn what not to do. Okay. So are you guys seeing this okay? All right. Sometimes I think I'm in the frame and I'm not. Okay, so now, uh, before we put this on here, we're gonna do something fancy. Are you guys ready for some fancy? Meet my little friend. Okay, this is the pan pastel. Okay, that's what this is called, pan pastel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a makeup brush, uh, one of those applicators, okay? And then we'll go over it lightly. And Really, what this ends up doing, guys, is it makes it look even more realistic. Okay. And we'll just do that for this one. I didn't believe it at first. And then uh, after watching Susan for um, over a year and playing with her dyes, I finally said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead, shell out the money, and uh, get her, um, get the pan pastels, and really, it took my flowers to a totally different level. Okay, so that was, this color is... 
bright yellow green shade. Okay, it has um, that that's the P. Oh, what is that? Six uh six eighty point three. Right. And then we're going to take our bright yellow green, which is 680.5, okay? And we'll take this part of our makeup applicator and we're just going to go um, right in the middle. Hello, hello. Sorry, I'm like not in the frame now. Ah, let me unzoom so you can see just a little bit better. Sorry. It's just like that. And see how it's just coming to life. Okay, so now these are done. All right, now we're gonna figure out how to put these on. I don't really know how, so it's gonna be trial and error. Let's see here. So I think what's gonna end up happening is that we need to cup these, okay? So you're going to use like some sort of tweezers like this. Okay. And then you're going to squeeze it together. All right. So let's try that because that, that makes sense to me. And squeeze it together. Okay, so now you can take this. Hello. Hmm. Maybe pinch it. Let's pin try to pinch them together. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness gracious. It is not wanting to agree with me. Uh -huh. All right. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to put it in there and there you go. Okay, so now it's in there and now we got to figure out how in the world to keep that from not opening. <laughs> okay, so Let's go ahead and just add them on here, okay? And then we'll worry about that a little bit later. That's kind of tricky. I wonder if she um, did that, put the flowers together like that. Pinch this. Ooh, I 
goodness gracious. I know. Okay. I'm already figuring it out. Okay. It's not as complicated as you think, guys. It really isn't. That first one I put in wrong. Okay. So you just want to make sure you squeeze this together so part of the hole can get in there. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, these tools that I got, they are Susan's Garden Club um, uh, tool set. This was the tool set that um, Elizabeth Craft Designs um, carried when she was a contributing die maker for their website. I haven't bought the one from um, uh, Spellbinders yet, but I probably will end up getting it. So you definitely want to um, make this stem a, uh, you know, two-sided just because I can tell you um, if you try to manipulate the paper like I am right now with it being only one, uh, one die cut, it would have torn by now. Okay, got two more to go. Ooh. That one does not want to go. Let's try that again. Uh, this one is teeny, teeny, teeny. Okay, so let's try this. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your craft Ch kids choice glue. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is definitely, um, uh, I thought it was going to be a quick one because I wouldn't have to color the, uh, white flowers, but yeah, it's definitely more time consuming. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I don't know if you can see the glue that's right over here. We're going to go ahead and dip We're going to dip it in there and then we're going to just go over here and attach it just like that. And let it sit. This is probably the most time consuming is uh, the 
waiting for the drying time for the glue. There we go. I'm kind of wondering if she did one uh, die cut uh, or if she did two. I'm feeling like one, it would be easier to close this up, this um, end piece, but at the same time, it may be really, really hard to manipulate it. Okay, so let me do this. Hello, down there. Right. Oh, hello. I can see it. <laughs> um, I'm losing the the actual stem part. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I had it and then the glue just like decided to really stick. Try it again. There we go. There we go. Now. I am going to add some glue to that. Right here on the end. Okay. Hmm. One second. Ugh. I cannot see. Oh. 
All right, let me put this down for just a second because I need to clean off my tweezers. It's part of the problem. And then, I told you this stuff is really good sticky. Really good sticky stuff. I'm trying to get a piece of glue off of here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. There we go. All right. Let us try this one more time. Now this one's all wobbly, so let's fix that. I'll put glue right here on the top. Like that. The nice thing about this glue is that it dries clear, so you're not really going to see it when you're um, when it dries. Just nice. Okay, I'm just going to put some on the end. Hopefully, you can see that if yours falls through. This is how I'm remedying it. Okay, so look at us. So far, we have one side done, <laughs> and we still have more to go on the other side. Okay. A little bit piece of glue here. So, try to take that off. And then you can just cut these really really easily but look how how cute that is so cute lots of work so cute Okay, and let's do this one. We need more flowers. All right. So let's use that loop tool again. Okay. 
and make sure that their uh, top is on the bottom. Okay, we are going to put the glue on here, like that, and then take our tool. So I'm thinking that I didn't have to cup them because they fit on here just perfectly. Yeah, one more. Oops, I almost did it again. Let's take that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the glue right on the tip, this front and back. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Someone is tired. One more time. And there is one set. I think that looks pretty close. What do you guys think? I think it's hard to, um, to try to shape them and then put them on here because it ends up flattening them. So maybe just doing a little curvature like that makes a big difference so now that they're on here I'm just gonna try to make some curves Maybe 
that's still drawing. That looks really cute. What do you think? Okay, now this time I'm going to try it without doing any of the cupping. Okay, um, I'm not going to do anything to these. So we will see what ends up happening. Okay. Right. Well, thank you. I'm definitely going to have to do my homework before I uh, debut the cactus flower, um, the Christmas cactus flower. Just because that that tutorial and also project is official so I want to make sure that ah, nobody gets upset at me <laughs> ah, spreading misinformation okay so we have this tool here and let's go ahead and do the same thing we were doing before we're just gonna press it in Go ahead and see if we can add it. Okay, so I'm taking my toothpick, taking the Ch kids' choice glue, and putting it on the top and then on the bottom. Now I will put one of these guys and I'm trying to add it in there. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Okay, so that's what I did. I think it's gonna stay. <laughs> I think it's gonna stay. Um, kind of have to do a mixture of putting the glue down here and then also taking the glue and putting it on the stem. Okay, you have to be ambidextrous 
to do this one. And then once in here, then you get that little tiny hook in the middle, just in the middle. It doesn't have to be all the way down. And then that glue is going to put the two parts together. Okay. It seems like it's really, really tiny. You see how tiny it is? I mean, it is very, very tiny, but this glue is going to actually stick. And if you don't feel confident, you can always take some more glue and put it in the inside if you want. Remember, it's going to dry clear. Okay, do not try to shape it until it is totally dry. Let's add some more. We need more glue. Whew. Now, don't you do you think my camera is too close? Would it be better if I um wasn't so close, or do you like it up close? Right. See, that's where it's kind of strange because, see, I feel like it needs to get in there. That one's a little bit faster. Okay, good. Mm -mm. I always wonder about my camera position when I do these videos. It's not too close. I know some people, when they do their videos, it's like, what am I looking at? So, as that is drying, we're going to leave that right there. Oh, no. Oh.
So we definitely need to cut out more flowers. But you know what, guys? It is 10.54 and I have to get up early in the morning and go to work. Anybody else have to work? <laughs> oh. See now, that just doesn't look right. But maybe it is. I don't know. I think I lost the flower. Oh no, I didn't. Ugh. This one does not want to stay because my tool is sticky again. Let me take off that and try it one more time. All right. Oh, get it all confused. What am I supposed to do? Add some more glue up here and right here.
is so hard to do with this little itty bitty space. Eee. I feel like these are not cupped enough as a result of having to not um, pinch these, but I think, I think they look okay. This one, I'll be working on this one just a little bit more. Yep, I think that looked really good. What do you think? I got two down. <laughs> Should I go for the third? Ooh, goodness gracious. Let's see here. I need more paper. Uh -huh. This one right here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I should only need one more set. Let's lift this up for a second. And cut this out. I'm getting really, really creative now. <laughs> it's just one way to get them out of there, right? I'm like, get this done. Let's get this done. I think the best way to do this is actually use the leaf tool, but right now I want to finish so I can go to bed <laughs> all right so who's gonna be the first to uh, to say this is too much work I think Junya I think you you're the first one that said that you were you said um, compared to another die set that this seemed a little bit more time consuming. All right, now we'll put them on our little cushion. And press it in. Circle. Is it going to be a card? 
Um, yes. Uh, I'm going to put it on a card. I'm not sure exactly which card. I might end up using one of the slimline dies. Um, so did you see my unveiling? Well, my unboxing, um, from last night. I uploaded it, uh, today. Around, um, 12 o'clock. And I got uh, a whole bunch of slimline dies that I thought were really, really cool. Okay, so let me clean my hands. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe uh, to use the Moroccan die, the Moroccan slimline die. I think that would probably look really nice. Trying to clean my fingers before I start making more glue uh, attempts here. Okay, and let's make sure that the little tiny negative is out of here. And I think we're okay. So let's do this again. Okay. And what I found was easiest is to um, put the glue on the tip and then on the bottom of the flower die. Okay. That's what I'm finding is the easiest thing to do. So right here, front and back, I'll go ahead and put front and back here. See how quickly I can move. Right. One. Two. Three. Hey, that was pretty fast. What do you think? That was pretty fast. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself right now. That was the quickest I've ever at, um, added flowers. Let me go ahead and um, get closer. Bring this down a little bit. Did you see how quick I put those flowers? Wow. All right, so let's go ahead and set it down and get some more Kids Choice glue. You get overwhelmed. Ah, uh, well, you know, that's not a bad thing, Dunya. That's not a bad thing. Um, just think of all the money that you're saving. <laughs> Seriously, think about all the money that you're saving. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I bought all of these dies in anticipation for my upcoming dies that will be delivered soon. So, you know, um... Normally, well, I can't even say that because I normally I do buy lots of dyes. It just so happens that uh, they were all delivered at one time. At the, they all came at the same in, same time. So, um, let's see. I need to do this again. Oh, oh hello. Ooh. You see how sticky it gets? It's like getting tacky now. See, this glue is like the bomb. Uh, 
Um, but I also keep an inventory of all my dice. So before they even come to the house and are delivered, uh, I'm already inventorying it in my, um, in my air table. So I always know what dies I have, if they've expired, what dies they complement, what collection they are. I mean, it's kind of obsessive, um, but it works for me. <laughs> uh, I'm really hoping I did not bite off more than I could chew with these projects because no joke. Um, as soon as those dies uh, come in, I'm going to be creating like a mad scientist. Um, I think I have a total of 10 to 12 projects that I need to make in one month, which is a lot when you think about um, how many videos I produce. So, uh, we will see. All right, let me flip it upside down. Do it this way. Oh, come on. Okay, so if you flip it upside down, it's a little bit easier. This one is very hard to get in there. I might end up cutting that just a little bit so it sits in there. I feel like it's too fat. All right, here we go. Hello. Get in there. I don't know if it did it or not. Yep. Okay. And last one. This one definitely flew by a lot faster. Yep, that one was a lot faster. What do you think? Now this one I need to definitely shape, um, but that one was so much faster than all the other ones. Oh, I know. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be so much fun. Mm. I don't know any crafty people near me. Um, I mean, I know some people that do crafts and stuff, but they're not like as into crafts as I am to, to them. It's just like maybe once every month or once every quarter year. Um, but I have so many embellishments. It's like insane. All right. So we'll go ahead and let that rest. We'll put that right over there. Okay. Now we have these leaves. Okay. And this is where the fun part comes in. We do some more pan pastels. Okay. So with pan pastel, we're going to take the lightest color and if you see, there's a little bit of light green right here in the middle and on the sides. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I am first going to take it upside down and shape them first before I put the pans pastel. Because I don't want to do it the other way. I'm going to take my leaf tool and I'm just going to press it down and curl it up. Just like that. Okay. And I'm 
let's do the next one. Hello. Ooh. Excuse me. Eleven o'clock. Two hours. Two hours making a flower. <laughs> But part of that is my own fault. User error. Okay. So now I can take my pound pastels. Now I'm gonna take the skinny little side and I'm just going to go down just like that and go down the vein. Whoop, hello. Let's move this over to a side because we don't want to get that painted. See how real that looks like now? It looks so real. So again, you're going to this here is um, this is the tip the fatter part the skinny part goes um, behind the the leaves or I should say the actual flower and stamen and Go. Whoop. One more. Okay. So now I can take this. All right, ready for the next trick? Here is a super cool trick, okay? Since we have to um, put this all together, okay? And these are the bottom. Uh, let's go ahead and take this tool and kind of round this out. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to try to make this. All right. So we're going to put um, one of the leaves right in the center and then put another leaf behind it and another leaf over here. So let's try that. That looks like it's the biggest one that they're using. So we'll go ahead and dip some of this. Oh, I probably need more glue.
Okay, so I have glue right there. And then I'm going to take this here. Actually, I'm going to take this one. So use that. Um, I think I'm going to pinch these two together. All right? Take some glue. Put it on the top. Hello. And then Okay, so one thing that you can do is you can put glue on the back side of this and because you're working on a craft mat, you can temporarily stick it on here so it doesn't move. All right, and then now I can use the rest of the glue and Go ahead and adhere it. Oh yeah, that would look really, really nice. Okay, and I curve this up. So it's not so curvy right there. Whew. Okay. Yay. It looks great. Okay. And now, hello. Where is this bug coming from? There's a bug. Okay. And then now we can, my bug thinks it's a real plant, apparently. Put one there. We'll need more leaves. Uh, I can see that I did not have enough leaves, but you know, that's, at least one set here. Let's see here. I think I want to go ahead and put some leaves here.
Okay, let's see if we can round these out. Right now, they are just not round at all. Oh my goodness, this one came off. Damn it. Okay, let me do this. Okay, let's try this one more time. It fell off. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. No, see, that's why I'm saying those pan pastels in the um, alcohol ink coloring really do make a big difference in the way that these uh, flowers look. Uh, when I first started, what I would do was take the color paper and just die cut them and not worry about um, uh, coloring. And so after following her and going into her uh, group, I started noticing that she was um, coloring more and more. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I have all that white scrap piece of paper. Why not? You know? And so I went ahead and did that and started coloring and lo and behold, it, it did make a big difference. Oh, oh, you have to be really, really careful though about this glue because look at that. Uh, mm, that's a little frustrating. Now this is the ones that I did not, um, Oh, goodness. Hold on one second. I can't talk. I think next time I'll end up clipping just a little bit of the ends so we can go back in there. All right. So...
So what I would do now with this, I'm not going to continue. Okay, I'm, I want to do a stopping point here. Okay, uh, I'm going to grab one of my slimline dies. Let me clean my other fingers because they're pretty gross. So we might have a part two tomorrow where we actually finish the card. We need to die cut some more of these leaves and then attach it all together. Um, I have this slimline card and yeah, you could put it on a plain slimline card and that's basically what it would look like. So this is where, you know, I say that you can go ahead and do your uh, flowers without attaching them. But in this case where she has them multiple, you actually would have to, um, have it on the card base so you can glue it onto a surface you see that if I do this um, then you can then it appears to you know be bigger um, uh, but there's no way for me to adhere that to this unless I just glued it on here just like so I mean I could and then uh, oh, hello second it's a little bit tricky so kind of weave these like that And actually that looks pretty good so let me go ahead and glue that since I already have that ready to go do, 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 do. let's grab this Yeah, that looks really, really cool. And I'm basically taking this and moving it around. All right, and then this one here. Attach right there. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I kind of think I want it in the front. Let's do this. Let's attach that.
Uh. There we go. Right there. Somehow this got curved down. I don't know how. This one back here. There you go. Um, and if you wanted to, let's see, I have, I think I have some watering cans. Yep. I love these. These are so cute. You have the little watering can and you can put it right there in the middle. Look how adorable that is. Isn't that like so adorable? And then you can attach it to your slimline die card. Just like that. Of course this would, you know, be attached and then you would go ahead and put it on here. Oh, hello. Yeah, so what I would do is I would just go ahead and attach this whole thing here and then um, glue this down. Just like that. And then you can have a sentiment right up here and then any of these you can kind of bend backwards so they're not like feel like they're all hanging over um, also what you can do here since it's like that is you can uh, put double-sided um, adhesive foam on your um, container so it's propped up a little bit and it doesn't seem like, you know, this is like falling out. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll be interested in seeing um, the other uh, dies that Spellbinders comes out for containers. Um, I have that watering can. Um, I have a Trevor Yearn 
the Trevi yarn looks like this. This is like another, you can get a totally different look, just like that in the Trevi yarn. Um, there is a milk can. I don't think I have any of the milk cans already cut out, but that's what the milk can looks like. Uh, I think I have a pumpkin. Yep, I have pumpkin. Pumpkin would be really cute. I love this pumpkin. Actually have two of them. This one, you can actually make an arrangement so you can have, uh, this one I would put on like um, either a five by five or a five by seven. Uh, I said five and a half by five. Um, five and a half by five and a half or five by seven. Uh, you can put that there and then, um, maybe some other florals. <laughs> I'm looking. What other plants do I want? Or something like that. You just add flowers on there. Anyway, but you know, it's like the possibilities are endless. I also have, oh, remember when I said the um, forget me nots? Love these forget me nots. And these are really cute. Some embellishments. Something like that. But you would just go ahead and fill that in, you know, with whatever you want in there and, um, you know, make your own flower arrangement, which is pretty cool. That's why I like to um, keep my flowers you know, not attached to the card so I can just kind of like mix match, um, try to figure out what I want. So anyway, um, let's see, maybe tomorrow I'll jump on and I'll finish this card. And so you guys can see which one um, container I choose and how I attach it. Um, we have two more flower dies to try. Uh, the sweet pea, which that's what the sweet pea looks like. And then we have the parrot tulip. So I'm really excited to try those. Um, but anyway, if you feel like you have, you know, got some value out of this, you enjoyed watching me make these cards, think that this card, this flower actually looks pretty realistic. Um, uh, make sure you, um, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel in case you, um, ha are not already. And I appreciate it. Yeah, this is really cute. I mean, it looks like the real thing. So, anyway. Alright, guys. I will talk to you later, Dunya. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, you are a gem. 
and it was totally fun to create with you. So, um, anyway, uh, I'll try to hop on tomorrow around the same time and, uh, we'll put the card together. We may do another floral, um, just all depends on if I'm tired or not. <laughs> if I'm tired, ah, yeah, I am going to probably skip on out and get some sleep. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, you have the tulip too? Fantastic. Have you made it already? Night.